So you want to marry my daughter? Well, Cooper, in many ways I think you'd make an ideal son-in-law. You're smart, affable, and obviously in love with Emily. You're just missing one essential trait. You're not tan. Do you see my skin, Cooper? You see how tan it is? I look like a Peking duck dipped in honey and gilded with burnished bronze. Sure, the Surgeon General might call this sun damage, but to me, it's the color of success. Your skin, Cooper, is pale, like store-bought tilapia. It's the color of failure. Cooper, I want you to listen to the sound my neck makes when I turn my head. It's a sound that makes a dermatologist gag. But to me, it's the sound a new saddle makes when it's strapped to a triple crown stallion. I've heard the sound your neck makes, Cooper. It sounds like cake batter being poured into a bidet. I'm not impressed. That's why I'm not sure if you and Emily are a match for one another. If this SpaceX thing you're monkeying around with is a flop, well, you won't have a tan to fall back on. Just look at the world's most successful people, Cooper. Hulk Hogan, Donald Trump, Snooky, each more sunbaked than the next. The only drawback is these damned melanomas. They pop up so frequently, I have to keep a thermos full of liquid nitrogen here by the pool so that I can freeze them off myself, like so. I'm just kidding, Cooper. I can't feel pain. <laughs> My skin is so thick and leathery, I've lost sensation below the neck. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go up to the house and make myself a BLT. The smell of my own sizzling flesh has given me a hankering for something leathery and meaty in my gullet. <laughs> Honey, I'm coming up to the house now. <laughs> <laughs>